Hi, my name is Laura Nelkin. I'm a knitwear designer. I live in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region. And I want to quickly show you how to do a Shetland lace stitch called the cockle shell stitch with beads. I first used this stitch in my design Solite, which Goldie is wearing behind me. And I recently released a cowl called Solite Cowl that uses this stitch adapted for working in the round. So I just want to show you rounds nine and 10 that show how to work with the beads. You will need the pattern to follow along with this. Oh, and I'll give you those links below. So first, let me show you underneath the camera how gorgeous this stitch is with beads on it. The, um, the Solite cowl that I have underneath the camera is knit in Kiviet, and you can see the stitch down here without any beads on it. And then you can see with the beads how the beads really highlight the ridges of the shell. You'll see on this version that I used two different colors of size eight delicacy seed beads. The pattern includes all the information that you need for purchasing beads and choosing them for this pattern. I alternate my shells with the colors. You can certainly use the same color of beads throughout the cowl if you want to. So let's jump right over to my needles. I have some fingering weight yarn on my needles because I find that that is a little easier for you to see in tutorials, but this pattern is written for lace weight yarn. So I'm on round nine and I'm going to purl a stitch wrapping the yarn three times. It's, this is super easy to do. I'm gonna go into the stitch. I'm gonna wrap the yarn one, two, three times around and then pull that yarn through. And I've got one stitch on my needle that is wrapped three times. So that just counts as one stitch right there. Let me show you that one more time. So you're gonna work the rest of round nine as written and then I'm going to show you how to make the cockle shell on round 10. Okay, I am on round 10 and I'm ready to show you how to work with the beads. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make a yarn over on my needle and then I'm going to knit two together and I'm going to work that maneuver twice. And now I am going to make a yarn over and then I am going to place bead, three beads on the next stitch, dropping the extra wraps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab three beads with my crochet hook. This crochet hook is about a 0.8 millimeter crochet hook. I am going to grab that stitch, pinch underneath it, kind of pull up tight so there's tension, and then I can slide those beads down and onto the yarn. And then you're gonna want to take that stitch, make sure you're not splitting it, and put it onto the right hand needle. And now this next stitch, you're gonna slip over to the right hand needle and not place any beads on it. And now you're gonna alternate doing this across for seven times total. So let me show you one more time. I'm going to go ahead and grab this next stitch with my crochet hook, pinch underneath so it's nice and tight, slide those beads off, and then slide that stitch onto my right hand needle. And then I am going to slip that next stitch and continue that across. Okay, I've repeated that seven times and now on this last stitch right here I am going to place three beads and then place that stitch onto the right hand needle you'll see that that stitch did not have any extra wraps on it and now with the left hand needle I'm going to go into the front of all of those 15 stitches on my right hand needle, making sure to capture all of them 
as I go through and I end up just kind of doing a few stitches at a time, making sure that I'm getting that needle all the way through all of those stitches. I made it through the last one. And now I am going to wrap the yarn around and pull this stitch through all of those stitches. So you saw there was a moment there where I might have stopped breathing. The more you do that, the easier it gets. The trick is to just make sure that you have grabbed all of those loops as you go to work it. And I always kind of test myself before I go too much farther to make sure that I grabbed all of them. And now I am going to yarn over SSK twice. I can get rid of that beading bowl because I do not need it anymore. And get to the end of the repeat. So that is the trick for working the beaded cockle shell stitch. And knit those last two stitches. It is such a fun stitch to work. And you can see the way it splays out once you have blocked it, how beautiful it is.